Hey, what's up everyone? Lorenzo here, just coming at you with this quick video. Um, listen, I know that we've all gone through something in our lives that was very hurtful, you know, caused a lot of damage, whether it be mental, emotional, spiritual, whatever. We've all gone through it. We've all been wronged by, you know, quite a few people at some point in our lives. But let me ask you this. When was the last time you actually looked in the mirror and examined yourself? When was the last time you did a self-evaluation check? Because let me tell you something, just like you may have been hurt, you've also been the person that inflicted the hurt, you know? But there are so many people that, that, that just want to be the victim all the time. They just want to, you know, feel like they're the ones who are always being mistreated and always, you know, being done wrong and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure at some point in your life, you've also been the one who inflicted the hurt, you know, and what you have to realize is that you can't always stay the victim because what happens is as long as you go into a situation, whether it be a friendship, a relationship, whatever, if you go into that situation thinking that you're the victim all the time, you're going to eventually morph into the victimizer because you haven't dealt with the things that you've gone through. You haven't quite you know, figured out how to properly handle the things that you've gone through. Because here's the thing. Yes, we've all gone through something in our lives. We've all been, you know, uh, hurt really bad. But those should be lessons. Those, those, should have, those things should have taught you something. It should have made you better, not bitter. You know, and people just don't seem to know how to overcome those things because maybe they like being the victim. Maybe they like the attention that it gives them. But at some point, you're going to have to hold yourself accountable. You're going to have to grow out of this victim, you know, mentality that you, you know, that you, you know, given yourself. And you're going to have to just allow yourself to grow into a better person. You can't stay bitter all your life. You know, and if you want to become a better person, what you have to understand is that it starts with you. The change has to start with you. It can't begin with anything outside of you. It has to start with you. There are some, there are some habits about you that you may need to change. There's patterns about you that needs to change. You know, your attitude may need to change. There, is, there are some things about you, you know, that may need more, more attention when it comes to, you know, changing than anything else. A lot of people like to say that disconnecting themselves from people is what's going to help them. Not necessarily, because it's very possible that you can disconnect yourself from a certain person and you can connect with a new person, yet still, you know, go through that same situation that you, you know, that you went through with the previous person, you know? And then that's when you have to, you know, take a step back and say, you know what, maybe I'm going through this situation all the time because maybe it's something that I need to change about me. Maybe this perpetuating cycle that I keep going through, maybe it's something that I need to change and do different. So I feel that people really need to start, you know, really examining themselves, doing a self-evaluation check, learn to, you know, figure out what it is about you that needs to change. Because there are a lot of situations that it may not be the other person. Maybe it's your perception of it. Maybe it's something that you probably did. Maybe it's, you know, uh, maybe you said something the wrong way. Maybe you did something, you know, um, in the wrong manner. Sometimes you just have to stop bl placing blame on everyone else and start looking at yourself. So again, I ask you, when was the last time you looked in the mirror and examined yourself? When was the last time you did a self-evaluation check? Maybe you should do that quicker than you looking at someone else or placing the blame. Stop looking for other things to blame and other people to blame. Maybe you should be more focused on you. Remember, change starts with you first. Let that marinate.